Allison Felt with GHG News, and we're standing outside of Lycor Biosciences World Headquarters, where they've just announced the creation of a new open path methane analyzer. The company says this gas analyzer will help with global climate change research. We've gotten permission to go inside and find out what makes this product so revolutionary. Lycor Biosciences began in 1971, measuring photosynthetic active radiation. Since that time, Lycor has grown to become a world leader in global climate change instrumentation. Well, this is Bill Miller. He's the product manager for the new LI7700. Hi, Bill. Hi. Can you tell us a little bit about the new product and what it's designed to do? Sure. The LI7700 is our new high-speed, high-precision methane gas analyzer that's really designed for making eddy covariance measurements. Well, can you tell us what eddy covariance is? Uh, eddy covariance is a technique that's used to look at uh, small pieces of air uh, that are moving up and down out of ecosystems. And we take that information and combine it with gas concentrations so that we can determine whether or not ecosystems are releasing or absorbing the gas. Okay. Well, can you tell us a little bit more about the specifics of the machine? Sure. The LI-7700 is a high-speed and high-precision analyzer, so it, it makes very rapid, very, very precise measurements of concentrations, and, uh, and it's a self-cleaning instrument as well, so it really uh, helps reduce the amount of maintenance that's required. Wow. Well, a machine like that sounds really big. Yeah, it, it seems like it would be, but actually the, the analyzer was designed for field use, so it, uh, it sits, uh, sits out on top of the tower, it's, it's pretty lightweight, and it, it's an open path instrument, so it doesn't require quite as much infrastructure as a lot of other products. Well, can you tell me a little bit more about what it takes to put one of these in the field? Sure. The, uh, the one thing that's really nice about the methane analyzer is that it's, uh, it's got very low power consumption, so it'll actually run on solar panels. So we don't need uh, AC power or large generators or anything like that. We can put them in a lot of very remote places with, uh, with small solar power systems. And, and again, because it's open path, it doesn't require pumps or, or in enclosures of any kind. So it's, it's a lot easier to, to put in, in remote places than other instruments. Okay, well, thank you, Bill. It sounds as if this machine is really special. Let's head down to the lab to get an engineer to talk about it. Well, here's Brad Wrenchy working on another Lycor product. He's a principal engineer here at Lycor. Hi, Brad. Hi. Uh, we've heard about the portability and the purpose of this new Lycor product. Can you tell us a little bit about the technology? Sure. Uh, we designed the LI7700 specifically to suit the uh, eddy covariance market and uh, what that means is we used a uh, open path design and uh, chose a very low power uh, design strategy using WMS. Well what is WMS? WMS is wavelength modulation spectroscopy and uh, that that is a one of several spectroscopic methods to measure gas in the atmosphere uh, we chose WMS because it lets us use uh, shorter path length and less reflective optics, uh, really enabling the open path design. And uh, it also, since it uses uh, the uh, shorter optical path, we can also minimize our thermal, uh, thermal regulation. Well, that's great. Thank you, Brad. Let's see if we can find someone to tell us what this all means for customers. Well, we should talk to Chris Mancios, the National Sales Manager. It looks like he's in his office today. Hi, Chris. Hello. We were hoping we could talk to you about what the new methane analyzer has to offer to your customers. Okay. Uh, the new methane analyzer was designed to be used exclusively for eddy covariance applications. And it has to be used in areas where there is a lot of methane, such as the Keys down in Florida or the northern part of Canada and with the wetlands in, um, in California or Alaska where there's actually a lot of methane. Well, how does the analyzer accomplish that? Uh, the analyzer accomplishes that because of the technology that we use. Uh, this allows us to use only 8 watts of power uh, for this analyzer and also as a result we get an extremely low carbon footprint of what we calculated to be less than 50 uh, kilograms of CO2 per year. Well, it sounds like this analyzer is pretty versatile. Yes, it is. Uh, you can use it to update existing eddy covariance systems uh, where you're measuring CO2 and water vapor at, at, the, at the present time. It's a very easy and affordable way to update your system. And also, you got to keep in mind that Lycor has been in the in the analyzer business for nearly 25 years. So we use all of our experience to come up with what we think is, is the best methane analyzer available in the market. Well, thank you, Chris. You're welcome. 
This is all great information, but why is analyzing methane so important? Let's see if we can find someone who can tell us. And here's the man that can answer our question, Dr. Shu, Principal Scientist at Lycor Biosciences. Hi, Dr. Shu. Hello. We were wondering if you could tell us what makes analyzing methane so important. Um, the methane, um, just like CO2, also contributes to global warming in the atmosphere. And the research you know, around the global, they try to understand where all this methane came from and where that, uh, how much methane left in the atmosphere. And that's why an, our instrument, uh, that Methane 7700, uh, used in, in, in a remote location. They, they use a technique called AD covariance flux measurement you know, determine how much methane released from the, uh, a particular ecosystem and how the environmental variable uh, regulate all the flux. Okay, great. Thank you. Sure. You're yeah, welcome. Well, today we've learned a lot about Lycor's innovative new methane gas analyzer, the LI7700. It's ideal for eddy covariance measurements because it was designed to be used in the field. It provides high-speed, high-precision data uh, with low power consumption. It has a weatherized, self-cleaning design that enables long-term data collection at remote sites. Overall, I'd say the LI7700 is the best analyzer to get the job done. For GHG News, I'm Allison Feld.